So I'm guessing your terminal is pretty ugly right now. And in the next five minutes, we're going to go through how to make it pretty, uh, make it minimal, uh, make it sharp. And so whether you're a new developer, uh, you've never spent time in the terminal, or you just maybe you have a new computer and you just want things to be looking fresh and new, uh, this is the video for you. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty, so this is the terminal you're probably used to. If you have a brand new computer, it's going to look something like this. And so what we're going to do is replace it with a different emulator called Alacrity. And so if I do brew install uh, cask Alacrity and run it, it will install Alacrity onto our computer. Now, if you don't have homebrew, you can also download it from the website. Um, and that's true with the following steps. And so once we have that, uh, we can actually open up Alacrity. And it looks something like this by default. And so not too much different, but what we'll start doing is adding pieces to it um, so we can configure it. Uh, but the next step before we do that is we want to install a pretty font that we can deal with um, pretty icons. Um, and I personally like the San Francisco font. I think it looks really nice. It works well with Mac OS. And so all you have to do is run these commands. And so you brew tap and then you brew install cask and the name of the font and it will install it on your computer otherwise you can go up here to tags and releases and you can download the zip and install them manually yourself and so once those are installed you're going to find them in uh, your font book and so we'll see here i have the fonts installed now two more steps we're almost there uh, we will next look at the tool um, called Starship. And so Starship is the ability for us to um, create a really pretty prompt with autocomplete and um, some like Git uh, awareness and node awareness and Rust and all these very cool packages. I just love it and I, I tend to go simple with it. And so again, you can run it with the shell here, um, but I of course love brew. And so we're going to um, go here and brew install Starship. Now, the main step to this is you have to know your shell. And so by default, if you echo shell, you'll see uh, the name of which shell that you're running. And in this case on Mac OS, it's default is going to be Z shell. And so if I vi uh, Z, uh, Z, Z -S -H -R -C, um, we'll see it's a blank file. And all we have to do is initialize uh, right here with the eval. And so what we're doing is we're telling it to start with uh, this initialization running. And so what we'll do is if we exit this and rerun Alacrity, um, we'll immediately see uh, that it changed. And so now we see that the prompt has already changed. Uh, but if I were to CD into repos and then CD into, let's say jam, um, we'll see the node version showing here, but the symbol's missing. And so that's sort of the final step and we'll make Alacrity pretty altogether um, by changing some other settings. And so if you go into uh, the .config file, you'll need to make a directory called Alacrity, like this one. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll create a file called alacrity.yaml. And so what that will look like in your case is probably make dir uh, config, make dir config slash alacrity. And then uh, we can just vi, uh, let's go back, uh, cd, and we'll vi config alacrity alacrity.yaml. And here's our config file. And so what's cool is we're gonna, I'm gonna paste all of it in for you. Um, so we'll have this live reload true, which when we change our alacrity file, alacrity will kind of update itself. Um, and then finally, window, I have set to 0 0.85, and that creates a transparency. Um, the padding is just what I've set. I think it looks nice, 18 and 16 on the different axes. Um, and then decorations buttonless is what will remove this top border up here that says alacrity with the yellow, green, um, yellow, uh, red, and green buttons at the top. And then finally, we have to tell alacrity about our font. And so the font is SF Mono Nerd Font. The style is regular. The font is 22. I like to make mine bigger. Um, you can, of course, adjust these values as much as you want. And so when we save that, um, we do have to close Alacrity for the buttonless config. 
but just like that, uh, we get the configuration uh, that I mentioned, and I think we're pretty good on time. And so if you want to make more changes, check out my YouTube channel. I have more videos on Alacrity and my shell that I use and my TMX setup and all of these cool tools. Um, and so this is just sort of the starting point um, to have something pretty.